Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video today. Now, in today's video, I wanted to cover one new G Fuel product that I have yet to review. Um, I always want to make sure I cover all the reskins, all the new flavors, and everything, except the shakers. That's the one thing that I don't cover these days. But, in terms of reskins and everything, I want to make sure I always cover everything. And the one thing that I have not covered yet is this right here. So this came out recently, it is the PewDiePie, we've got another reskin, it's the PewDiePie, the most relevant flavor, it's inspired by his uh, app video game called Tuber Simulator. So for those of you who don't know how this game works, it's basically a YouTuber simulator. You make videos, uh, which video do I want to make? Uh, argue with your intelligent home. Cyber dog barks at flying cars, that seems like a great video. And it also came with a shaker cup, and I'm pretty sure it's still available, so if you, any of you guys want to pick it up with code CHALK for 30% off, definitely do so. And I want to throw up all the recent code CHALK uses for 30% off. I wanted to ask you guys, do you think, and leave a comment about this, do you think this is too much? Um, I think this is, at this point, I believe this is PewDiePie's third reskin or fourth tub if we include his original tub i mean we had the original pewdiepie tub and then we had floor gang i believe and then we had the black friday pewdiepie tub and now we have this just a reminder this is all the reskins and original tubs and stuff we've had of the pewdiepie flavor as you can see it's definitely a lot this is all four of them here so i'm just wondering and asking you guys do you think this is too many reskins for one flavor? But also, at the same time, you gotta realize that this is PewDiePie. So G Fuel probably got, PewDiePie probably said, hey G Fuel, I want a reskin for my GameTuber simulator. Is G Fuel gonna turn down PewDiePie? I don't think so. So at the end of the day, even if this is too many reskins for the PewDiePie flavor, I think that PewDiePie is PewDiePie, and if he wants another reskin, I guess we're just gonna have to give it to him. But I do think if PewDiePie wants another reskin of anything, it should probably be of Yuzu Slash instead of another reskin of his original flavor. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below on if you think this is too many reskins for the PewDiePie flavor. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at it and open it up, and we'll give it a quick, really quick taste and let you guys know what I think. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, it says inspired by PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. Now, I personally have never played this game. I'll put up some images up on the screen. I don't know too much about it, to be honest with you guys. We've got PewDiePie there. We've got some of his awesome dogs that I absolutely love. Some other characters and stuff here. G Fuel Energy Formula, PewDiePie, the most relevant flavor. Um... There we go, taking a look, there's the top, there is the bottom here, if you guys want to take a look at that. Now, I did hear from some friends that another reason why a lot of people were not that hyped over this flavor, or this reskin, was that the PewDiePie game, Tuber Simulator, has not really been popular and came out a long time ago. Uh, at least that's what I've heard from some people. So I can definitely understand. We've got a little text here that actually says who did the art. That is really cool. But let's go ahead and open this baby up real quick and take a look at it, guys. Obviously, just the regular PewDiePie flavor. And I think I actually tried the PewDiePie flavor again recently. I'm pretty sure I already did. But let's go ahead and pop this open. Easy peel. There we go. Smells like the PewDiePie flavor. If you guys don't know what it is, it's just lingonberry. We've got our scooper here, almost right at the top, actually. Here's our scooper that comes with the G Fuel. I'm gonna fill it right to here, uh, not to that top part that's for funneling water bottles, but I'm gonna fill this one right to here. If you guys are wondering the PewDiePie flavor uh, color, the powder, it's just white. And here is the shaker that comes with it, if you guys did not see this. I've got powder on my hands. But here's the shaker. I actually do like the shaker a lot. Um, I definitely do like this shaker. It goes really well together. We've got G Fuel Energy Formula. 
We've got like the PewDiePie pattern there. It's kind of like a translucent orange. It's a really nice color. Then you've got more of a pastel orange and yellow for the two top parts. And then kind of a pastel banana yellow insert here. So definitely a nice shaker. Not really my type of colors, but I do like it. All right, guys, I've got 16 ounces of water here. One scoop going in. Let's give her a shake for 30 seconds to a minute. All right, guys, here is the PewDiePie flavor all mixed up. It is more on the pink reddish side rather than just a full red. And that's kind of what PewDiePie's banner is. So I actually really like this color. Yet again, like I said, lingonberry flavor. Lingonberry is a Swedish berry, kind of like a cranberry, but a little bit sweeter and more like uh, candy-ish, I would say. But let's go ahead and give the PewDiePie flavor a go right now in uh, April. It actually just hit April, April of 2022. Let's go ahead and give it a go, guys. Here we go. All right. You know, there's something always going to be nostalgic, I think, about that smell of the PewDiePie flavor. Um, this was my favorite flavor for a while, 100%. You know, 100%. Obviously, there's been so many more amazing flavors that have come out. But this flavor, just because I don't talk about a flavor as much anymore does not mean it's not good. Like this. Mm. This is mad good. It's sweet. Basically, easiest way to describe it, I would say kind of a more sweet candy-ish cranberry, which kind of is what a lingonberry is. But I think this is an amazing flavor. It really, really is. And it definitely still stands up today, in my opinion. Now, where would I put this flavor on my tier list in April of 2022? Well, I think I would actually move it from where it is uh, in the middle of really good. And I'd probably move it up to, I'd say, right above the one G Fuel flavor. Um, I think that's where it goes. I don't think it's better than Wumpa Fruit or Maiden's Blood or Peach Rings and Ocean Potion and stuff like that. But the PewDiePie flavor, I definitely think it deserves above the one. Uh, and that's going to get it, I would say, about an 8.2 out of 10 right now in April 2022 for the PewDiePie flavor. You know, it could even get higher. But I just think that if I'm looking at my tier list today... There's so many other flavors that I would rather have over this just because there's so many other better ones, in my opinion, today. And I keep in mind, guys, I've had like multiple tubs of this in the past years. So I am kind of bored of this flavor. And that's why I haven't been having it lately at all, to be honest with you guys. But overall, it's a very solid flavor. And if you're just now getting into G Fuel, you have to try the PewDiePie flavor. You just have to, okay? So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Is this too many reskins? Is it not because it's PewDiePie? What do you guys think about the PewDiePie flavor in 2022 of April of 2022? Let me know down below. I want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for using Code Chalk for 30% off. And thank you yet again for watching this quick update video on this flavor. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.